What's up everybody, it's Conger Live. We're back again with another hero boss video. In today's video, we're gonna be going over all the heroes in the Risen faction. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more content, and let's go get into it. To see all the heroes in any given faction, of course, you click on Heroes at the bottom, it defaults to your roster, you go to Heroes of Dominus, and it's going to show you all the heroes that are in each given domain. Well, today we're going to be looking at the Risen domain, also known as Purple. We have a couple one-star heroes like Lilith here, the Human Striker. Only has very basic skills, 300% magical damage to all enemies in a circle area, applies one stack of burning or poisoned at random to enemies hit. Her basic is 100% magic damage and her passive is heal self for 20% of damage dealt. So she heals herself like a vampiric strike which is kind of nice um, but very very basic character overall. Basically you're going to want to retire all your one stars. The other one star hero is Duncan. He's a defender. His Ultimate deals 540% magical damage and applies weakened to target enemy for 5 seconds. Duncan gains taunting. Very tank-like skill. Come at me, bro. And his basic is melee magical damage at 100%. And his passive, Void Vengeance, after being hit by a basic attack, Duncan deals 25% magical damage to the attacking enemy. Duncan also applies weakened to the enemy if the attacker hit was a crit. So he's got that kind of like splash back like a spiked armor kind of effect um, which is pretty cool so a decent tank for a one star but still just fodder for the shrine then we get into our three star heroes in this faction we have still flake she's the undead striker carrying that paintbrush her well of calligraphy is her ultimate deals 270 percent magical damage to all enemies within a circular area adds one stack of poisoned and five seconds of inhibited to each enemy hit. She does ranged magical damage and every eighth basic attack does 225% magical damage and applies marked for five seconds. Marked enemies take an additional 5% increased damage from undead and toxic allies. And her other passive, more of an auto skill, is her ink trap. She deals 100% magical damage to a random enemy every 20 seconds. If that enemy is poisoned or marked, they are stunned for three seconds. So it's nice that she has a stun. Stuns are pretty cool. They're super annoying. Um, so a little bit of merit there, but it is conditional on poisoned or marked. She does mark and poison, so she should be getting her stun off, but it'd be nice to partner her up with other allies that do some of these things. Of course, there are recommendations down below. But being three stars, she's going to be a fodder hero for leveling your five stars. Gregor... The Undead Striker, I like the way he looks with the broken arrow in his helmet. His ultimate is Soul Crusher. He gains one stack of Focused, then deals 720% physical damage to target enemy. And if the target is killed, he heals for 230% power. So it is a big hit, um, but it has to kill for that heal to happen. We like healing, but that condition is not that great. Uh, he does physical melee attack damage as, for his basic, and his Executioner passive he deals extra damage, 10% damage, to enemies who are within 10% max health. So if they're almost dead, he's going to do a little bit of extra damage, hopefully to push them over that threshold, especially with that ult, give himself that heal. Um, his Morbid Invigoration, whenever an enemy is killed, undead allies gain regenerating for 4 seconds. So uh, it's cool that he heals a little bit, um, but there's so many conditions that Gregory, once again, he's going to be fodder for leveling your 5 stars. Now the last three star is Blood Crow. Blood Crow is actually a good three star. Someone you might actually want to put some energy, some resources into. Crow Call, very unique, cool ultimate skill. Summons three crows onto the battlefield for four seconds. Heals for 90% power and cleanses one debuff every second while crows are flying over allies. Crows flying over enemies deal 135% magical damage and purges one buff per second. Crows prioritize allies with the least health and enemies with the most buffs. So he's going to be healing the crows for four seconds, you know, and cleansing. Cleanses are great, so remove any debuffs. And then also 
um, clearing any buffs that the enemy has while he's also healing. Really, really cool s skill. Um, that's why Blood Crow is someone might be worth using. His basic is ranged magical attack and his first passive ritual of revitalization heals the lowest health ally at once every 12 seconds for 260% power. So guaranteed heal every 12 seconds and then whenever an ally dies, his blood pact heals all enemies for 100% power. Risen and nature allies heal for 200% power instead and if Blood Crow dies, heals all allies for 300% power. So definitely partnering him with Risen and Nature allies is going to make more use of this heal. Um, of course, this heal is kind of like a, we're losing, let's try and come back into it. Um, but it could definitely swing the tide of ba battle. So pretty cool. Then we go into the five stars. The first five star is Wraith. Uh, Wraith is an undead striker. The ultimate is Frenzied Rampage. Wraith teleports to her target's location, randomly strikes between them and nearby enemies three times for 160% physical damage per strike, and is untargetable while performing the attack. Coolest thing about that is that she's untargetable. Um, her physical strike is physical attack, basic melee damage. And then her first passive is Gouging Strikes. With every seventh basic attack, deals 225% physical damage and applies one stack of injured to the enemy target. Wraith has a 5% chance to perform a double hit basic attack. Pretty cool. And Master of Mangling Wraith deals 10% increased damage to and has 10% chance to add one stack of slowed to injured or stunned enemies. So adding some detriments with some increased damage. She seems okay. Um, I, don't, I wouldn't say that she's the best in this uh, faction though. Next up, we have Vorzilla. Um, I was pretty lucky to pull Vorzilla twice, so I already have her at one silver star. Um, and she seems pretty good because she deals 600% magic damage to an enemy target and heals herself for 40% of the damage dealt. It's a decent amount of healing, helping keep herself alive. Her basic attack is ranged, magical, and her sinister empowerment, whenever an enemy is killed, risen allies gain one stack of strength. In. So once you start killing you're going to get stronger and really hopefully help finish the match Equibili equilibrium of souls after an ally is killed there's a 20 percent chance to fly banished to the enemy that killed her ally for three seconds An internal flame after vorzla uses her ultimate ability for the next six seconds her basic attacks deal 115 percent magical damage and applies one stack of burning to hit enemies so really cool that she does extra damage after she uses her ult and adds that burning. The next five star from Risen is Rowan. He is an undead defender. He deals 400% physical damage to nearby enemies. He also applies shielded to allies for three seconds. So a decent amount of damage, but also that shielded will help protect his, his allies. He does physical damage melee damage and after rowan uses his ultimate undead allies gain one stack of defended helping keep his undead allies alive even longer his void sphere every 12 seconds creates a magical bubble around his self and nearby allies which reduces incoming magical damage taken by 10 percent in this last three seconds in his power shield after being hit by a magical attack rowan's shield glows with dark energy increasing in effect at each hit after four hits, he releases the energy in a cone, dealing 180% magical damage and applies inhibited to enemies hit for three seconds. So it's pretty cool how he's able to basically absorb some damage and then blast it back. And he's, uh, he's an okay, he's pretty cool uh, tank. I think uh, he's got some merit. I've been enjoying using him personally. <clears throat> Next up, we have Netus. Uh, Netus has this Inferno Lash. She pulls target enemy into melee range. So get over here, which is really cool. Deals 540% magical damage. Deals an additional 110% magical damage to the backline targets. So pulls that person close, deals damage, and also splashes behind them. Really, really cool. And then magical strike, melee attacks, 100% damage. Basics are basics, right? She's a magic dealer infernal aura in enemies nearby netus take two percent magical damage per second so she's got this 
constant damage coming off of her, which is really, really cool. Her Forbidden Flames Netus deals 10% increased damage to burning enemies and will heals for 2% of her max health after hitting a burning enemy with a basic attack. So she needs burning and she relies on her her teammates to apply burn for this to happen, but it's a very, very cool um, mechanic. Lastly, her Thirst for Battle Netus gains one stack of Strengthened at the start of battle and after using her ultimate ability. So if we can keep getting that stack on Strengthened, she's going to be able to do some more damage. Really cool. And last is Felbog. He is one ugly looking orc support. He deals 300 magical damage in a line, applying one stack of Poisoned to enemies hit. Poison does magic damage. Um, basic range is magical attack. His Noxious Blast, Felbog's basic attacks have 10% chance to apply one stack of poison to enemies hit. Toxic allies take 10% less damage from poisoned enemies and deal 10% more damage to poisoned enemies. And at the start of battle, battle applies Banish to the farthest enemy from Felbog for 3 seconds. So he's gotten some interesting support. He's really all about poison. I don't really think he's the best 5 star. Um, I think the, the 3 that are worth looking at are these three middle ones um, if you had to go with just one I'm not sure what I would say I think the consensus is Nettis but that is the risen faction so far tell me what you guys think about the each risen hero which ones are your favorite leave a comment down below don't forget to subscribe for more content let's game smarter together and we'll see you in the next video